Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to look at the surface area of a cylinder. What to expect on this, we'll talk about the area of a circle, the area of a rectangle, and how knowing those two can give us the surface area of a cylinder. I'd like to introduce you to my round yellow friend. This is the circle. With a circle, there are some important parts. We have a diameter. A radius, the diameter is twice as long as the radius. It goes across the entire circle through the center. A radius begins at the center and goes to the outside point on the circle. And the area of the circle is the part shaded in in yellow. So we're going to use all three parts of those in our lesson today. First off, let's calculate the area of a circle. The area of a circle equation is this, pi times the radius squared. Pi is a number that's about 3.14. So for our calculations, we're going to use the number 3.14. So we will say area is approximately equal to 3.14 times radius squared. And to simplify our equation even more, we're just going to simplify radius squared to being radius times radius. That way we avoid any confusion that might come from using exponents. So that's the equation that we're going to use. Area is approximately equal to 3.14 times radius times radius. Um, and that's how we got there. So let's go ahead and do it. Find the area when the radius is 9.7. So using our equation, all we'll need to do is 3.14 times 9.7 times 9.7. And that should give us 295.4426 square centimeters. That's kind of a weird number to be working with, honestly, but that's all right. All you're doing is multiplying these numbers. You're 3.14 times the radius times the radius. So now it's time for us to practice. I want you to go ahead and solve that one. Your number's a little bit um, nicer to work with than mine was. Um, go ahead and calculate the area when the radius is 7 centimeters. So if you solve that, you plug the number 7 in where you saw the radius, radius times radius, and you got 153.86 square centimeters. So that's how you find the area of a circle. And that is a bit of a review from something that we've already done, but an important review when we're calculating the area of a cylinder. Our next part is the area of a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is the length times the width. So in our example, we have a rectangle that is 3 by 15. So we do 3 times 15 and get 45 square centimeters. That's it. Area of a rectangle is very straightforward. You take the length of the rectangle times the width. That's it. Your turn. Go ahead and multiply the length times the width and tell me the area of this rectangle. Hi, welcome back. Uh, the area would be 7 times 3, which is 21 square centimeters. So area of a rectangle is very straightforward. Area of a circle is pretty straightforward. And what we're going to do now is combine these two to find the surface area of a cylinder. Now, I've tried to make an animation that will make this kind of make sense for you. So I'm going to cut along the dotted lines and then roll this cylinder out. It's kind of funny. Now I'm going to take the circles from the top and and the circle from the bottom and put them, kind of fold them out. And then I'm going to get rid of the actual cylinder. So notice what you have here is kind of a Mickey Mouse on its side sort of thing. Um, we have a rectangle here and two circles. All right, a rectangle and two circles. So if we find the area of the circle and then multiply it times 2. We'll get both areas of both circles. And then you find the area of this rectangle. Then you can calculate the surface area of a cylinder. Now I want to point out that this, if we recall, if we go back, you see that? This cylinder all around this circle here, that is the length of this rectangle. Right, We rolled it out, so it's the same length as the circumference of the end. 
So that's going to come into play here. The circumference of the circle is the length of the rectangle. The height of the cylinder is the width of the rectangle. As soon as we've got that down, it then turns into what could be classified as fun or could be classified as just ridiculously complicated. Here are the four steps that we need to follow to find the surface area of a cylinder. Step one is to find the area of the circles on the top and bottom. Step two is that we'll find the circumference of the circle. That's the distance around the outside of the circle because that will be what we need to find the area of the rectangle. Then we will add the area of the circles and the area of the rectangle and we will have our final amount. So let's do these steps in order. First off, finding the area of the circle. The area of a circle equation is pi times radius squared, pi r squared, and we've been using this equation approximately equal to 3.14 times radius times radius. The radius of this circle up top is 5. You can see that up here. Our radius is 5. So we'll multiply that out and that gives us the area of the circle on the top, which is the same as the area of the circle on the bottom. So that step one is done, finding the area of the circle. Step two, find the circumference of the circle. The circumference is pi times the diameter. Now, this might need a little bit of explaining. Go back to when we thought, talked, when I introduced my friend um, the circle at the beginning. A radius goes from the center of the circle to the outside. The diameter is twice that amount. It's the distance completely across the circle. All right? So to find this circumference, we multiply pi times our diameter. In this case, pi times 10 gives us approximately 31.4 centimeters. That's the circumference. We will now use the circumference to calculate the area of that rectangle. And just like we cut a line here and rolled out this cylinder, we will get a, a rectangle with the length of the circumference and the width is going to be the height distance here. Okay, remember back to that little silly animation that I did. Okay, so when we multiply those, we'll get that the area is approximately equal to 376.8 square centimeters. I'm always going to be using this approximately equal to sign whenever we move from pi to 3.14. All of our, our numbers are going to be approximate. All right, so our final surface area then, step four, is that we're going to add the area of the circle, 78.5 square centimeters. We multiply that times two, because there's two of them, and then we add the surface area of the rectangle, 376.8. And that should give us an approximate surface area of 533.8 square centimeters. That is how you calculate the surface area of a cylinder. It's got lots of steps. But if you follow those steps pretty closely, you'll be able to get that surface area. So I've got some practice for you. One of you solving the surface area of the cylinder. Go ahead and pause the recording and try this one out. And then I'll go through the steps in the order that I did them. All right, step number one, area of the circle. Pi times the radius times the radius should give you an approximate area of 113.04 square centimeters. That's the area of the circle. Now I'm going to find the circumference because that will be the length of our rectangle. Circumference is 3.14 times the diameter. Remember, diameter is different than radius. So our diameter is the, the full distance across there or twice the radius. It's going to be 12. So our circumference will end up being 37.68 centimeters. I'm going to use that number when calculating the area of the rectangle that we get by rolling out that um, cylinder. And that will give us 489.84 square centimeters. We add that to the two circles. I have my surface area of the circle 
I multiply that times 2 because there's two of them and then I add that to the 489 and I should get my surface area of 715.92 square centimeters. That is a lot. That's a ton of stuff. You did it though. Great job. You found the area of the circle, the area of a rectangle, and then use those two pieces of information to find the surface area of a cylinder. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.